Expressway shoulders are meant for emergencies, but some errand motorists use this to get ahead of others during traffic jams, while others wait here till the electronic road pricing scheme is not in operation. But whatever the reason, stopping your vehicle here is not worth risking your life. Samuel, Joyce and Rachel, three Tomasic Polytechnic students, know how dangerous expressway shoulders can be. We heard about some cases on the news that a lot of people stopping by at the road shoulder and we decided, you know, to alert the incoming drive vehicles, um, you know, to be aware of the road shoulder. For their final year project, these electrical engineering students would take on a hefty challenge, applying what they'd learned to make Singapore highways a safer place. They would create an intelligent highway shoulder watch. In the first stage, we just brainstorming you know, everything, you know, all the ideas, and um, we can foresee that you know the project can be done by putting our knowledge that we study during our school years. Hazard lights and breakdown signs aren't eye-catching enough, and motorists have to be really close before they notice a vehicle on the shoulder. This is too dangerous on expressways, where vehicles are travelling at great speed. The team took their research out of the school labs. Realising that lampposts line the expressway, they were hit by how simple their project could actually be. Why not design a system that makes use of those existing lampposts by making them communicate with each other? They could fix a revolving lamp onto each post with a sensor up to a certain radius. When a vehicle stops, the nearest lamp would light up and through a transmitter signal several lamps before it to light up as well. So motorists would see a trail of lights leading to the stationary vehicle. First we think of putting the post on the road shoulder but instead of doing like extra work, we just uh, decide to put on the existing lamppost so that you know it will minimize the cost as well as uh, you know the time. Off they went to work, breaking into groups for different tasks. Some working on the software and others the hardware. As they previously learned it in school, programming the software was a breeze. It only took them two weeks to get the software going. These students had also not many problems fixing up the hardware. But when they tried to combine the two, things went wrong. Signals crossed, lamps didn't light up when they should have and lit up when they shouldn't. That's because they were using a relay system where one lamp signaled the lamp behind it and on and on. Just like where everyone is talking at the same time, all these different signals caused miscommunication among the lamps. Every box has a transmitter receiver. So every box will using the same frequency and the same kind of sensing, sending the, the data from one box to another. So um, when the two box trying to send at the same time, the third party didn't like, receive you know, the data correctly. After two weeks of troubleshooting, they decided only one lamp would speak to the others behind it. The signal sent out would then be much clearer. So they built a model for their project, a replica of an expressway complete with straw lamp posts and bushes. When all the hardware and software were finally completed, the team created a working prototype to show how the system functions. They built six units in all, using this revolving lamp and enclosing the circuit in a waterproof box. It appeared to work. Then they did a real-life test. Once a car stops along the highway shoulder, it triggers off a chain reaction. The light on the nearest lamppost will sense it and light up, and transmit signals to three other lights behind it, which will also light up, alerting vehicles 150 meters away. As soon as the car leaves, all these lights will automatically turn off, but the team wants to improve their product. You can improve on the power supply. Instead of using 220 volt from the lamppost, you can just use solar system 
to recharge the battery so that it will save energy as well. I hope that we could lower down the accident happen on the road shoulder. What will others think of this intelligent system hitting Singapore roads of the future? Concept-wise, I think um, it is good. Okay. And uh, we are very happy to uh, see that there's interest uh, in, in uh, improving road safety. Yeah, it's good, but make sure every limpo has. This is a good idea. From a simple concept to an invention that has the potential to save lives, Samuel, Joyce and Rachel's highway shoulder watch is something we may one day be looking out for. Well,